is generated from some sort of source, A, fossil fuels, or nuclear power. Those are the two options we have. And Those are the ones that produce enough heat to generate the steam necessary to drive the turbine that produces the electricity. Now, if you have a better idea, and some people think they do, they want to talk about solar power, and they want to talk about wind power, I mean, these are all relatively minor sources. Hydroelectric, we don't have enough waterfalls in the country to do the generation of electricity needed to carry on the productive capacity of this country. Now, what countries, I think France right now? France has, has made an it? option. And they're using... Most European countries are building nuclear... Most countries in the world are building nuclear power plants. China is one of the foremost developer of new nuclear technology Yeah, because right remember, it, <coughs> it used coal all the time. We, we, when and we they want think to get of, rid of it. Right, and we think of China and coal. Now, we're, now China just came out. I think there was a... Uh, even what we, you just got here. Uh, China's nuclear power push. This came from the, um, must be the Wall Street Journal, it looks like that. And um, it's in a shift state-owned company seek to roll out advanced reactors for export. Now, who, what about the United States? If all these company, uh, co uh, countries, France, Japan, Russia seems to be starting to use nuclear. Uh, United States, are we st are we using nuclear now? You said that in Michigan there's a nuclear. You have a little. Uh, you have a, um, a summer home in Michigan, and you said that there's a nuclear facility. There is the Cook Electric power plant is about a mile, two miles away from our house. I don't fear the explosion of a nuclear power plant. I think I've adjusted my thinking so that I accept it. I think it's a necessary factor in our society. What has happened is that the American perception, public perception, has inhibited any new innovative technology in the nuclear industry. From a country that was foremost, we have had four or five plants that have, and companies rather, I should say, that have gone out of business. General Atomics, we have had General Electric that produced nuclear reactors. They're still doing some in coordination with Japanese companies. Uh, so I, our companies are working uh, the companies for are European over there. They're Europe, using other countries to develop their technology. See? We are using French technology. We are not innovative enough, and we are losing ground by doing that. Now, whether we think it's a great idea, we'll find out sooner or later. Everything ha has been related whether it be the Keystone Pipeline or uh, the lack of development of nuclear reactor designs or any of the above is a result of the single incident, namely at Three Mile Island, in, supply, in my mind. Mm -hmm. Or that Chernobyl. Was the most, Chernobyl, and people, do, A, do not understand Chernobyl yet and what it was and what mm -hmm. it was all about, and they don't understand that the limited effect of Three Mile Island was on, on our perception. Mm -hmm. Of nuclear power. Well, what 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 happened in the Three Mile Island? We, uh, we, you didn't mention. We, we had a loss of coolant problem. These are all usually the what happens in a plant. Law, the pumps fail, and the coolant that is con in the containment vessel falls below a given level, not cooling the rods. But what 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 actually happened? So that happened. What was affected by that? What is affected? The reactor goes out of control. The temperatures rise enormously. Yeah because the reaction, the nuclear reaction that takes place in uranium leaves, you've got a bomb, essentially. Mm -hmm. It's getting an exceedingly high temperature. That's a problem. When, so loss of coolant is a critical factor mm -hmm. in the operation, the safe operation of any nuclear reactor. Did it seep out? Did people, did people yeah. get uh, it leaks out. It? The plant, the, the generator doesn't work. Something yeah. is wrong. The pump is not working. Something is allowing the water level mm -hmm. to drop. So why that, were people so afraid? What happened to, was there anybody injured? Was there anybody hurt? Surprisingly enough, Three Mile Island, no one was hurt. No one had any after effects. There are other issues that have been uh, made, re that have been available indicating that the levels of radiation were low enough, as was, by the way, in Fukushima the levels of radiation did not affect the public health 
as a result. Okay, okay so why were we people We still so don't believe that. We are very, yeah. I mean, there have been articles coming out showing that radiation at any level is not, you can't linearly extrapolate all radiation and say it's all going to produce cancer. A lot of people believe that. Mm -hmm. That is why we're fearful of it. We will not allow transport of nuclear materials across state lines. We have all kinds of inhibitions because we're fearful of radioactivity enormously. Okay, now how do you overcome that perception? That's a difficult issue. That is very hard mm -hmm. to do because right. to change people's minds from a very receptive view to an mm -hmm. totally negative view is hard. Is hard. I and know. you need public you need public pressure. Well, that's why we're doing this show today. Because and I, I, I would like, you know, I, I think you haven't heard anyone in public office today that, so, that has come out strongly mm -hmm. in favor of nuclear power in both parties. Well, that's why we're, again, that's why we're showing this show. We're viewing the show today to our viewers because we want to teach them. Most, most of, I think the way to understand nuclear and we always think of nuclear bombs you know well, like we the, relate the you know Iran you know, the Iran deal the nuclear They're situation and it's not alike and we that's why we're trying to educate that's what the show is about to educate the public so they will understand what nuclear power is about and what it isn't about and I think if more shows come out and talk about it I think that's what we need to do well there are two possible solutions there in the far distant future. One is no longer relying on uranium as a sole source of nuclear power and relying on materials like thorium. Thorium has a very, very long half-life. And you know what a half-life is? How much time, how long, how long it takes for it to decay to zero. Thorium is, thorium is a fuel, right? Pure, thorium is a mineral that occurs quite at a, a Largely, in most places, thorium is a very ordinary material. It occurs with uh, sources of sodium in many places. Now, is that, is that a future thing? Is it that is, something, a is, future energy? Let me, let me conclude what I'm going okay. to tell you about. All right. All right. Thorium is a widespread uh, raw material. It's okay. a, a widespread mineral. It's wherever you want to look. You'll find thorium. Thorium has one advantage. It has only one isotope. I hope I'm not getting too far out, but basically it doesn't decay to plutonium. It decays to a uranium. Now, the problem with thorium, as differentiated from uranium, is uranium is a self-generating neutron provider. Okay, neutrons decay because it comes mixed with 238 and 235, but the fact of the matter is that thorium doesn't have that. So you have to provide a neutron source in order to activate the thorium, and that's a difficult problem. That means you have to mix it with some uranium that is radioactive. Mm -hmm. So there you are, you have the problem that there are solutions to these problems, providing we provide the incentive for research, we have to provide assumptions. We have to at least explore the assumptions we made about the protection of radioactive waste. If yeah. thorium is there, there's no radioactive waste to speak of that's dangerous. So that is in place of nuclear? Is that what These thorium? are not. Nuclear oh, is, is a general term that tells you what is happening okay. in the decay of a radioactive material. It provides okay. neutrons or does something else. So this is part of a different system. This is a different system. Okay. So we have to make that differentiation. Now, now that's one solution. The other solutions are the, the safe protection of the public from radioactive waste. The ability to transport radioactive waste safely from one place to another to some kind of uh, underground shelter that is protected. And we have one. We built the, the, uh, a place in Nevada that is already completed. We spent billions of dollars in order to do this. And the public under the past, uh, the past several politicians have refused to allow it to be opened to use it safely 
as a radio wave. You know, when you wave. say politicians, some I of say this politi is, this is, is like a political, political issue. issue this because, is a political because they're issue. afraid if you put a nuclear facility in their state, they're afraid they may not get reelected. Uh, Whatever for their the office. issue is, yeah. they play to the fears Which of the public. Wrong. They have not tried to inform the public of what the dangers or the limited dangers that exist and what the reality of the situation is. The same way we handled the the Keystone Pipeline. It was absurd the way the politics interfered in that. Whether you like it or you have an opinion about it, the best opinion I can have about the, new, uh, the, the Keystone Pipeline, for example, is the fact that it's, no, it's cost ineffective at the present time because of the presence of natural gas. So that's a different issue, but it's a political decision. Yeah. The same is true on the use of the Yucca Flat, which is the repository for nuclear waste. Two things have to be overcome. One, the public perception of what it is, and two, the fact that they have to change the rules about the transport of nuclear waste material, high energy, high level nuclear act, across boundaries, Where, across did, where did they put it? Like you said there was a nuclear facility in Michigan. I said there's a nuclear where, power where, plant yeah. to cook electric well, no, power right. plants. But where does the waste go to that one? They keep it. Right now, all nuclear power plants retain the waste in what are called swimming pools. They put the rods in and just keep them there because there's no place to put No one will take them. So they're, they're merely accumulating nuclear reactor rods, spent fuel rods, as we call them. That's what's sitting there. And no, no one can get it out of the plant. They're all sitting there. You go into any nuclear power plant, they'll show you where the swimming pool is. But so that's what the, the reality is. So in, in, in a situation that you're talking about, there's going to be a different type of facility for nuclear waste. There, let me put it this way. We have the facility. We don't want to use it. We know how to protect the rods. We have several technologies that, are, that the French are using, that the Chinese are using, and these are called vitric, uh, vitrification. It's putting, essentially embodying the radioactive waste in a, in a glassy material and then encapsulating that in a, uh, essentially a barrier to any uh, leakage. Of, of, of neutrons, and that's what you're worried about, neutrons radiating from the source itself. So you want to protect the plant. You want to put it in some sort. Now, is it safe for 100 years? Is that all right with everybody? No, it isn't all right. They want it forever. Well, you can't produce that in anything. Mm -hmm. No one knows the answer to that. But it's better to have a facility like that than just sitting in a swimming pool of rods. I think it's more dangerous yeah. to leave them in the rod, in, in the swimming pools, and keeping them at the plants today than, uh, than we, we can imagine. So and why are should. they not, if they're, it, the why? plants because exist, why Because the public's why perception they? is, hey, I don't want that, that truck going across my uh, road or near me. It might fall down, it might crash, it might do something, and I might be irradiated, period. The other part of the problem is what are the levels of radiation that are seriously dangerous to the public? But what level should we worry about? And we have divided radioactive materials into low level and high level. Mm -hmm. High level is a problem. And we don't have a lot of that. Do we, we have, have very inspectors? Do we have inspectors going around to of these course facilities? We do. The, the, testing how much radiation? Of course. The okay. nuclear power plant today is the most inspected plant mm -hmm. in the United States. It is the most carefully, cons we are very concerned about its safeguards. Now we have about, what, 90 nuclear plants uh, in the United States? 92 or something. We produce 20% of our electric power from nuclear power today. So we, we, so we do still have, we do have a facility, we do have some nuclear. We do, nuclear but one additional proviso, nuclear right. power plants age. Mm -hmm. And we now have to think about the decommissioning of, radio, of nuclear power plants, and we still the, haven't handled that okay. one. Well, thank David. It looks like our time is about up. I want to welcome you back because we need you, because we need to keep informing the public on all these different things that you know about. And I want to thank you for coming today and showing...